G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I'm back with another Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age Guide, and this one will be on how to improve the quality or the rarity of the loot that drops off certain mobs in the game. So this one requires unlocking the Crimoires or the Monographs in the Passar menu of any vendor, and this can be done by just simply interacting with notice boards and vendors a certain amount of time. Also, the last one is unlock through doing a very simple hunt, so it's really not hard at all. You can actually do this right at the beginning of the game, and I would suggest doing it as very early as possible. If you can do it before you even set out on your initial journey, it's going to be all that more beneficial. So the Grimoires are actually very easy to unlock, but they are really quite expensive. They range from 18,000 gil all the way up to 25,000 gil. So even mid-game, it can be incredibly hard to get this amount of gil, but I do have a very good and fast farming method for getting gil, and that'll be in the description down below. It won't break your game at all, and it can be done from the very, very start of the game. So uh, yeah, I would definitely take advantage of that before you set out on your journey. So to unlock these grimoires or these monographs, you're going to have to interact with, like I said, the notice boards and the vendors. And the first one you can unlock is the War Mages monograph. And to get this, you have to read the notice board, which is the hunt board, I guess, in the uh, the sand sea bar, and you just have to interact with that 20 times and you'll be able to unlock the War Mages monograph. The War Mages monograph increases the rarity or the quality of the loot from Amorphs and Undead mob types. The next one is the Dragoons monograph, and this one increases the drop weight from dragons and plants, and that one you have to interact with the same board in the sand sea 40 times. The next one is the Knight's Monograph, and for that one you're going to have to speak to any weapon shop owner at least 30 times. The Knight's Monograph increases the rarity of loot coming out of giants and insects. With the vendor interactions, there's no need to keep track of how many times you've spoken to them, because once you reach the certain amount of interactions, it'll actually come up saying that new items are available in the bazaar. So the next one is the Mage's Monograph, and this requires you to speak the Magic Shop owner at least 25 times. And this one will unlock rare, rarer loot for the Fiend's mob type. The next one is the Scholar's Monograph, and this requires you to speak to the Armor Shop owner. I think it's 15 or 25 times. I'm unsure of the exact amount. But again, you'll get the message saying that new items have been unlocked once you've reached that certain amount of interactions. And the Scholar's Monograph is going to increase the rarity of loot from the Constructs. The last one from the Vendors is the Sage's Monograph, and this requires you to speak to any combination of Vendors at least 100 times. So if you've already done the Knights, Mages, and Scholar's Monographs, then you're already going to have about 70 interactions under your belt. So all you're going to have to do is speak to any of the item shop owners, I think it's 20 or 30 more times, and then you'll unlock the Sage's Monograph. Now the Sage's Monograph gives you rarer loot or the possibility of rarer loot from Elementals. So for the last monograph, which is the Hunter's Monograph, which improves the loot quality or the possibility of the loot quality from Beasts and Avians, you're going to have to undertake a hunt. Now this hunt is the Thexter Hunt, which can be obtained from the notice board in the Sand Sea, which you've interacted with before, but you have to have done the Rogue Tomato quest before you can undertake this one. But it's pretty simple, you just take it off the board and then you talk to a guy named Gatsley by the door, and then it's just a matter of killing one mob. So like I said before, these grimoires are very expensive. You'll find them in the bazaar, which is a menu in any of the vendor shops. And these will be initially just forgotten grimoires, and you won't be able to identify what monograph they relate to. But there is an easy way of doing it, and that is by looking at the price of them. The Hunter's Monograph will be available for 18,000 gil. The Knight's Monograph will be available for 19,000 gil. The War Mages monograph will be available for 20,000 gil. The Mages monograph, 21,000 gil. The Scholars monograph will be 22,000 gil. And finally, we have the Sages monograph, which will be 25,000 gil. If you're still unsure about which one you want to unlock, if you only have a certain amount of gil and you want to unlock specific ones, make sure you save your game first, and then you can try out which one you actually need. But again, I would highly, highly recommend getting this as soon as you can in the game because it will increase the rarity of your loot or the quality. It won't increase the frequency, but you have chance of getting better items off certain enemies. 
Anyway guys, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then leave them in the comments section below. And if you need that gill farming guide, then make sure you check out the link in the description. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, because I'll be back with a lot more Final Fantasy XII guides. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Uh, moo.